If you have a 40 volt Black & Decker battery and you want to be able to make an adapter like this for your power wheels or something else, then watch this video and we'll show you how to build your very own. The first step is going to be to head to a uh, software like Fusion 360 or Katia or something like that to model up a design, but you can skip that step because we've already made it. You can hop on to Thingiverse, I think it's pronounced, and you can follow to the Wacky Engineering page and click on the Black & Decker adapter and there are two files and you just download both of those files and then you send it to a slicing software whatever your 3D printer uh, uses like Kira or something like that and then we're gonna send it to the 3D printer and we're gonna let it print once we print out both files then we're gonna start the assembly process so here's the different parts and tools that we have to do this project. So the first step is going to be to attach these terminals to the wires. And we have our negative and our positive here. We're going to slide the positive in through because it has a fuse on it and it might not be able to slide through uh, with the terminal on there. So, Okay, so now we're going to solder these terminals on and uh, that Milwaukee soldering iron is pretty nice. Highly recommend it. Now we can slide these in there and we're actually going to epoxy them in to keep them in place um, so it will take a little bit of time for that epoxy to dry and I'm propping them up so that those pins can stay at the right angle and uh, I'm just double checking that they're actually still lined up so that's what it looks like and they're fairly straight. So now we're going to use some JB Weld Quick. It sets up pretty fast. And we're going to epoxy these in. Now I'm probably going to let it dry for 24 hours before I actually stick the battery in. But uh, yeah, once we get that on there, then we can put the uh, little red cover that'll kind of cover that mess up. And uh, that cover, the screws are two millimeter by, I believe they're four or five millimeter long. And we'll have the links uh, to these parts in the description. Um, those are kind of a weird size of terminal as well, but we'll link that in the description so you can find it. So we'll slap this cover on there. And that's basically it. The assembly process is pretty quick. And uh, we'll uh, slap that battery in there. And then we can take a measurement on it. It should be pretty close to 40 volts. It might be a, a little less. Let's see here. Yep, 36, almost 37 volts. So. Alright, we got our adapter put together, we're going to slap her in. Alright, go. 